All right. Okay. I would recommend after each good sized log, big log, to clean the sawdust out to help preserve your belts and your pulleys. What you have to do is this is connected here. This is actually what moves your blade back and forth. So your, your guide on your blade. Over here you have a, this locks it down. So you lift your lock and then you can take it in and out. Moves your in and out over here. But you, in order to get your guards up, you have to take this thumb screw out. I set it up here out of the way. And then you can just lift this up and it locks open. And you see all the sawdust underneath here. And that's hard on your blades because it builds up around your blades. And so how many how many logs have you cut? This to... is after actually actually after two logs is this amount of build up as you can see here. And I'll I have an air compressor right here that I'm going to start. I'm not going to do it right now because it's so loud. But I just take the air compressor, clean everything out good. The good thing about this the O31 Frontier is it has sealed bearings on it, so you don't have to grease them. And they have these dust covers on them to keep the stuff out of your bearings. The reason I'm cleaning it out is because of the belts. Is that stuff builds up too much around your blade and belts, it'll dull your blade and wear your belts out. And your clutch up here will get built up around it too. So you want to keep all that cleaned out. The only other thing is this thing has felt wipers on it that goes down in front on each side. Uh, they recommend using kerosene and oil mixture and keep that thing soaked and then it'll keep your tracks clean and then so your rollers won't gum up and uh, they will roll smoothly. Awesome.